Welcome to Galvanize HD and I've had quite a few people asking me how to add effects onto certain sounds so I'm going to show you how to do that now so let's begin uh, okay so let's make a simple melody, uh, simple melody. Okay, that'll do. It's just to show you exactly how to do the effects. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click on the sound which you want to have the effect on. So we'll click here on bell and we're going to move it to FX1. Okay, if you don't know what that means, just bear with me one second. I'm going to show you. So move it to FX1 first. All right, okay, and then we're going to click this thing here. I don't know if you can see there. Click this and then this is the mixer basically and this is where you can add all of the effects so because we chose FX1 this one has been selected if we chose FX2 this one would have been selected if we chose FX3 this one and so on so this means that all of the effects whichever ones we put through here are only going to pass through onto this channel here which is labeled insert one Okay, so I'll show you an example. So let's let's put a a bit of a delay on. So it's like a slight echo. As you can see now if we remove that this is how it sounds. Add it on. Let's add it on again. Okay, see the difference? So that's how to put the sound into this channel. Okay. Uh, if I try to put this sound, okay, let me just take it off for one second. There, okay, so it's not on. If I to try to click this one, this channel, insert two. I try to put the effect on as seen when I press play there won't be an effect because I didn't click when I click this I didn't click FX2 I clicked FX1 if we put it on FX2 you'll probably see the effect see okay so how about we add a different sound Let's put some effects on the kick. Um, actually, not on the clap. So let's add a clap here. We'll add some reverb on. So here's the the clap. Let's put it on FX3. Oh, by the way, when it's automated, uh, I mean, when you start a new a new beat, this one will always be on FX1. This one will be on FX2. This one will be on FX3, and this one will be on FX4 see FX4 so make sure if you're using those beats most people don't even use the presets but if you are for example I'm using it now just to show you make sure you move them all back to zero okay so I'm gonna add a reverb onto this so I'll put it on FX3 so let's click this is the mixer just to show you again the mixers over here so insert 3 it's selected let's add reverb See how it sounds. Let's just mute the bell. So, and let's see how it sounds without. This is how it sounds normally, and this is how it sounds with the reverb. Obviously, we can add more reverb make it more echoey yeah so once you get to do once you learn how to do the effects basically it gives you the ability to add more of a in-depth sound to each one of your melodies and you can do a lot of different things for example 
look, these are the type of effects you can get. You can get bass boost, a compressor, a delay, distortion, a flanger, um, reverb. One of my favorites is using gross beat. I find you can add a lot of different sort of you can edit your melody quite well with this so for example the the bell which we have now let's unmute it with gross beat we can change it so it's a bit like this so let's choose trance or we can change it to AM fading in and out and things like that yeah so that's just how you do all the effects and everything and hopefully it's helped some of you for those who didn't know um, I'm going to be uploading some more tutorials maybe I'll up upload some of my beats as well so make sure you comment like subscribe uh, if you have any questions or anything or if you need help in a certain thing message me or write a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out so thanks for watching and have a have a good time making beats. Yeah.